I'm just gonna say I'm not really the biggest fan of RuPaul's acting challenges, so I really wasn't Me a big either. fan of this one either. But you know, we, we, we're gonna get into it. But Ru American Horror Story was just as bad as the American Horror Story, in my opinion. Okay, Look, <laughs> it was a mess. What's up, everybody? It's me again, and it's time to lean in, bitch. We're here for RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6, episode 6. 6 6. 106 would have been very evil. How you doing, Maya, on this <laughs> Thursday evening? Yes, I'm good. I'm excited to be back. I'm not excited about this episode, though. It was. I'm not. I had to have a drink, mm -hmm. and I had a drink in three weeks, so yeah. <laughs> but I see you got your goth on. You got your is it is this your goth look that you're giving us today? Yes, they said the category for the runway was goth. I tried. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this you did a lot better than me. I had this on earlier. I have my doctor's appointment today, child. So this is this is goth for me. <laughs> this is all they're gonna get for me. Okay. Um, but. <laughs> The episode, like, what did you think of the episode? Let's just give me, I want to hear your thoughts about the episode in general. Like, what did you think? It was just, I found myself really bored. Like, I found myself multiple times scrolling on my phone. I'm like, wait, I'm supposed to be watching this. It just was not giving for me. The challenge was confusing. I couldn't even understand, like, what they were judging on. It was just off. The whole thing was just not it. This episode was a setup to give Kali a win. I'm gonna say that I'm not saying she I'm not saying she's mm. terrible, but I just feel like yeah, I don't even know who would have won the episode, who would have been in the top, who would have been in the bottom. I didn't enjoy any of it. Um, no, <laughs> and that's just my honest opinion. Like, and I hate I don't really like these acting challenges. RuPaul needs to really revisit the script and kind of like figure out what to do because. They never are good. Mm -hmm. Like, I have not enjoyed no. an acting challenge in God Who Knows When. So, with that being said, we still going to talk about it because there was a runway. Yeah. Um, there was a challenge. <laughs> there was a winner. There was a lipstick assassin. So, of course, we're going to do what we need to do for today. So, at the beginning mm -hmm. of the episode, they uh, last week, um, who went home? Scarlett went home. Our girl Scarlett went home. Mm -hmm. I was upset that you we felt the same way. Um, yeah. And of course, they come back. The bottom was Jan, Kylie, and Scarlett, right? Mm -hmm. So we get back, and Jan and her Jan to see is surprised that she had <laughs> four lipsticks, four lipstick, four mm -hmm. lipsticks to vote her out. Yeah. Do you feel like she was again in her Jan to see? Because honestly, if you ask me, it should have been her going home last week. It shouldn't have been. I mean, she to me was the the bottom all star. I would have chose Jan. Yeah. I don't care if she won her challenge week before, right. before. Cause honestly, that's mm -hmm. debatable too. That should have been Trinity's win. But she did win. She got her redemption. She should have went home last week. What were your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Jan definitely should have went home last week. And I like Jan, but last week it just was not it. Like I'm still confused on why Scarlett was chose. I'm sure it was because you know. She hadn't had a win yet, but Jan did the worst. And that's I mean, but Kylie didn't point. have a win either, though. But she was on the same. No, they weren't even on the same team. They weren't. They were just both bottom mm. hitches. <laughs> I don't know. There were some choices being made, and I just. Mm -mm. But <laughs> I'm Kylie, still Kylie, so Nick didn't even have any votes. It was between Scarlett and no. Jan. And I was shocked about that. And that's crazy. I was actually pretty shocked about that. I don't yeah. know. I don't know why she didn't get any votes. She yeah, should have. Maybe Scarlett <laughs> did not leave a, a, great, a good impression. Maybe she didn't make the friends. I feel like Sonique um, definitely made more friends this season with everybody there. Mm -hmm. And maybe that helped her. Because you have to have friends. I don't. We saw Scarlett, but we didn't see, really see her bonding with anybody. She probably was doing her own thing. Yeah. And I at least feel like, you know, Sonique like, definitely stepped out and created new i guess slight alliance to say help her in my opinion but she didn't have any votes yeah. Scarlett had four and then what's in uh jan had four and jan just mm -hmm. i'm just uh, the people that voted for jan were um eureka 
Raja, mm-hmm. Trinity, and I don't know who else did. I don't, I don't know who's the fourth person. But they all gave valid yeah, reasons. You know, Raja said, I'm not voting for my team. Trinity was just like, right. girl, you did bad. And Eureka, what did Eureka say? I can't what she said. <laughs> Eureka said the same thing. Like, girl, you just wasn't it this week. <laughs> yeah, like, they all felt like, they all kind of took the same side as RuPaul as to where she was mm-hmm. just so over the top. And I wonder, was it yeah. really how they were really feeling, or was it really more so them listening to RuPaul? That's just, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they really felt that way? I don't know. I think a little bit of both. Um, because, of course, even though they say they don't, they definitely take the judges' criticisms into consideration when they're voting. Yeah. Um, but I think Jan's whole um, over-the-top thing, they're reading it the wrong way. Like They keep saying it's fake, it's a character, this, that, and the third. But for me, I see that is that's just who Jen is. It is. So I don't Season understand 12. why they keep saying that. But then again, they work with her. I don't. So maybe they're right. Maybe she is being fake. But Jen to me, it just seems like Jen. that's who she is. Jen gonna Hello, be Jen. right? It's not gonna change. Um, I'm no. sorry that they're just not realizing this. It's not gonna change. And so I feel yeah. like okay, if this if this <laughs> the case, honestly, I feel like it was too soon for her to return to Drag Race. She should have waited. Um, because mm-hmm. I don't feel like she has grown at all. I feel like she's the same person, given the same yeah. persona that she gave season 12. And it's coming out. Like, I don't think she ever yeah. be anything other than Jan. And she should always be herself. But at this point, <laughs> it's giving uh, I'm not America's drag, next drag, ne- next drag superstar. I should probably be on yeah. Broadway. Or well, I should find whatever. I, actually, I saw Jan on I think she was on um Watch what's happening live this past on oh, yesterday. Uh-huh. With, uh, yes, you know okay. what? So you know we recap Beverly Hills on the lean. Yes, and um, mm-hmm. I watch um, watch what's happening live with you know um, what's his name? What's his name? Jay? Uh, Andy, Andy Cohen. She was yeah. usually usually they have like drag queens there. They had um, mm-hmm. Jackie Cox there. I think sometime recently. And yesterday, yeah, I remember Jan that. was there, and I was like, you know what? Jan should do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Not beyond that's drag more Jan's wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um, so moving into the challenge, this week's challenge is the Rumerican Horror Story. It plays uh, in Coven Girl. It plays off of the um, American Horror Story. Ryan Murphy. Yeah, we all know mm-hmm. what it gives. Oh, wrong thing, child. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Rumerican Horror Story, Coven Girls, and um, I wasn't really excited about it hearing it from last week um no. and so when i saw what it was i was like okay but i don't really want to talk about the rehearsals i mean did you have anything added about the rehearsals because honestly in the rehearsal i didn't know who was going to give what no I, it was they it wasn't last really week, doing anything it wasn't it wasn't to me either. no it was not doing anything for me in the rehearsal at all i'm just like what is this <laughs> so let's talk about the actual challenge yourself were there any standouts to you no the only standout ish moment was that um kylie sonique i'm looking like she really looks like jessica lang that was she the did. only thing i could think but she other looks than just that, like her but no. do you think she embodied jessica lang not enough no I feel like they were trying to pull this character out of Akira and I don't I feel like they should have been trying to pull it out of Kylie. Like she had a leading yeah. role, but I don't remember right. her. I remember more of other people than I do her. I would even right. I don't really am I really the biggest Jan fan. I would have even probably given that to Jan cuz at least she committed yeah, to the role. Too. Um I would have said Ginger. I thought Ginger did, did a really good job. Um, yep, I didn't did. understand. I knew who the characters they were trying to portray, but some of them I didn't. Uh, and so yeah. I was kind of confused on it. But performance wise, mm. like I do feel like Akira was very monotone. I do. Mm-hmm. And, and it's crazy because she she got a character that they didn't want to be over the top. And when I was watching it, exactly, I was, talking, I was talking to Brandon and I was like, I would have did this. And then I heard that he have critique about saying like not so much i'm like oh well shit i guess i would have went home too because i was thinking like <laughs> over the top you know funny but yeah she was just kind of i don't know i don't know what will be going on what will be going through their head when they're on the show maybe it's a lot because they have to do they, they film every day maybe it's a lot but 
I feel bad for Akira. She kind of got a role that that mm-hmm. didn't really sell well, you know. Um, yeah, it just wasn't. They wanted I her to think... have dry humor, and she's right. already not really a comedian. She doesn't really have the best over the right. top moments, so it's like dry humor with some. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, she okay. couldn't hit those marks that they were looking for. Yeah. Like, even just the way she said certain things and the inflection in her voice, it wasn't what they wanted. But the whole very challenge confusing. was confusing. The whole yeah, challenge. it was just like, it was like it was weird. Like, I don't even, like, as they were playing it back and I'm watching, I'm like, what is the premise of this? Like, I'm so confused on where these scenes are going. What are they supposed to be doing? Like, I got that they were show. Uh, everybody was showing their powers, right? They were showing what their powers were. Their powers were. Whoever's writing these scripts needs to like revisit and find something that we can. Have they not yeah. learned that we're not enjoying these these challenges? Like, no, I get it. Some clearly but, not. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's weird to me. But yeah. I don't have it any thoughts weird. for the challenge, honestly. I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like anybody's performance. I was I confused too, because like it started off they were coming for a modeling gig, but now all of a sudden everybody's a witch. And I was like, how did they get from modeling to witches? And I'm like, this just don't make no sense. And then I'm like, they battling against each other, but there was no outcome. And the whole thing was a mess. Then Pandora was, a mess. was was Myrtle, and then she came back. As somebody else that don't like as uh, Joan Crawford, but there was right, like, what Joan no Crawford got to do with this? It, really, the only person that Child, really did weird. it for me in a challenge was Jan, just because that role was definitely made for her, and then Ginger, of course, because she has great comedic timing. But everybody I else, I was just like, but I didn't laugh. What is I didn't going like on? It. No, Chop them all. they mm-hmm. all could have been the bottom for me because I didn't enjoy it. But you know I what? wasn't it's not, gagging. It's not their. <laughs> Right, I wasn't getting it. <laughs> exactly. It was not my. It wasn't anything memorable. It wasn't anything that I enjoyed. No. Um, but I, I literally watched it just so we can talk about it. Um, I yeah. find more, <laughs> more to talk about in the runway. So let's get into the runways because that's what I want to yeah. talk about. So let's start with from big from top from not top to bottom, but start from the the bottom of which in the order it went into. Let's start with yeah. Pandora. Box. Now, the category was Oh My Goth, which is like, you know, mm-hmm. a take on God. What did you think of Miss yeah. Pandora Box? Eh, she understood the assignment. It was fine. Um, it was camp. You know, what we expect from her. But for mm, the outfit itself was fine, but Pandora's just fading in the background for me. This fading. wasn't anything fading. spectacular. It was just the assignment, a like of course, goth with makeup, girl. and they were trying to say she was giving. Uh, they said she was giving a mixture of. Well, no, what did I watch? I watched the pit stop, and there I think with peppermint uh-huh. and um, Trixie, and they were saying she's giving like a mm-hmm. mix of like drag and goth, and I'm just like, all I see is pit. No. <laughs> I'm seeing funeral, and that's yeah. a cop out, yeah. easy cop yeah. out of goth. Yeah. Like, and I want to no. say I know what goth is. I really wish somebody would have took a chance and moved outside of black. Do you do you feel like goth could be expressed outside of black, or do you feel like it has to be black? What do you think? No, goth does not have to be black. I think goth is just really dark colors, and it's like a vibe. You don't have Agreed. to do black. It's and that's what I was mad about. They black. all kind of took that black, and it was okay. But nobody really, everybody kind of did the assignment. Nobody looked bad. I do have my favorites, but nobody did bad. Uh, Pandora yeah. was not was not one of my favorites. Are we going to toot a boot? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, I toot it because it wasn't nothing wrong with it, but it's a very soft, light toot. Okay. <laughs> I give it the soft toot, too, because she did something to. Um, <laughs> let's talk about, okay, Kylie Sonique Love. Now, now I love to this. You give me you give me your thoughts and I'm giving my thoughts and then we'll go from there. I like this. It was giving very like dominatrix goth vibes. Is that a, is that a real I like thing? dominatrix goth? Is that do you really see goth in a dominatrix set? I'm just asking. Not is necessarily. that a real thing? <laughs> it was definitely giving more dominatrix than goth. Mm-hmm. But I liked it. It was cute. 
It was fine. <laughs> I did not dislike it. I, you know what I like the most? I like the hair. Yeah, the hair was cute. I, like I did the, like the, the hair. hair. Cute. The outfit, no. 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 <laughs> I'm th- I I can I will I will not praise Miss Kylie Sonique Love until I have seen something that I cannot find, whether it be from Pretty Little Things, whether it be from Fashion Nova, or in this case Amazon, because that's what the outfit was. I'm sorry. Um, but it was a, it was it was a, it was nice. But I always say, what if so, what if Eureka what if Eureka had the outfit on? Would she have been praised as much? She probably wouldn't. And I'm not saying because of her size. I just feel like she sure. knows what she's doing. She goes the easy, safe route. And I mean, you know, what's her name? Um, what's her name? Um, Michelle kind of praised it. But mm-hmm. I was just like, Michelle, yeah. this is not you. Like, it's okay. Right. But was it God? Or was it Dominatrix? And I'm really surprised Michelle hasn't told her stop relying on that body by now. Because you know she, she loves telling the girls that. She wore black. She will she put a little smoky eye and some white face or whatever and hair and kept it in black. But that doesn't make it goth. It wasn't goth. And so I loved it. Yeah. But for the for the actual runway, I'm booting it. I'm sorry. That's me. What are you giving it? Yikes. Well <laughs> I'll toot it because I liked it, but it definitely wasn't giving the category. Mm-hmm. So, so you, another so, soft you, too. That's kind of crazy because <laughs> last week you you know you booted a couple of looks because it wasn't given the runway. But this week, you know, but I like this. I mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, interesting because you want to wear that. You you want to wear that to West Hollywood or Hollywood. I know what you want to do. <laughs> okay, well. so Jan, are we feeling it? Are we feeling the Jan to see or are we not like feeling the Jan to see? Because somebody on the uh, panel called it costume. Do we? What, what you think? It's definitely leaning towards costume, but I did like it. There were cute little details. Like, I love the little coffin backpack mm-hmm. that was holding up those little, see that. whatever those things were. See, I like the little, you know, details like that. So that was cute. It was definitely leaning towards costumey, but, you know. It's Jan. She goes to the costume yeah. store. And yeah. She picks up a look and she says, I'm going to wear this on Drag Race and I'm going to fuck them up. And that's what we get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it might have not even been asked costume if she didn't have the all white contacts on I think that's what took it to Halloween yeah she did like, that was hot. yeah I think that was definitely like what pushed it a little over the edge to costume to the boot yeah uh, to it whatever I'm feeling nice today I'll do this give to the bad <laughs> chat today a curious Chanel dabbing oh thoughts. Loved it. She looks so she good. She was one of my favorites. And it's just like, honestly, I'm going to say this. See, and I'm not saying like black individuals don't appeal to golf, but I was yeah. really interested to see the women, the women of color and the black women, mm-hmm. their interpretation of God. And I liked it. it yeah, was me even, too. You know, God, you know, slash Pope, slash Maleficent. Um, mm-hmm. And so I kind of liked her take on it. You know what I'm saying? It was different. It was mm-hmm. it was it was elevated. It wasn't just you know just this. It, it was definitely a little dominatrix. Um, but I liked I liked mm-hmm. it. It looked like but she, I like that. Some, she put some thought <laughs> into it. It wasn't just I'm gonna throw this little outfit on. It wasn't just so, a bodysuit. <laughs> it wasn't just a bodysuit. So I'm into mm-hmm. it for that reason. I do think that was her interpretation of golf mixed with a little uh, pope, you know. But yeah, what you think? Mm-hmm. I loved it. I love the detailing of the little latex looking feathers mm-hmm. on the corset. I love the huge headpiece. Mm-hmm. She looks so good and she has been giving us so many good fashion moments this season I that I hate. I feel like she's not getting praised enough for her looks. She looked she great. Bought, she gave us one of the best looks of this season. I'm sorry. Two weeks ago. Like, yes. I can't, I can't get over it. Can't no, over I can't. It. Like She's really been giving, and I loved this look on her. She looked, she was probably one of my favorites of the night, honestly. Okay. Moving to Miss Raja O'Hara. Oh, I forgot about I this. I liked Raja's look. I loved that. And she had on she pants. Was gorgeous. I, like another one, like I was excited. And she didn't have on black. What, what was it? She was the only person that didn't, it was purple. See, I didn't even go back. It was you sure? purple. 
doesn't like black mm-hmm. to me. She had it looked hair. like an eggplant, like a real dark eggplant to me. It I'm like the pants definitely did not look black. I gotta go back and look. The pants you right. definitely were purple. What I saw was black or purple hair, but I'm gonna go back and look because I was slightly tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know. I thought I saw black, but I'm gonna go back and check. But nonetheless, I still loved it regardless. It was a dark color. Yeah. It was she looked her makeup, everything. her makeup, the wall, oh my everything. God. Raja definitely has def, definitely is a badass bitch this season, and I can't oh, I yeah. can't even deny it. I love it. Yes, I and love nobody it. wears some pants like Raja O'Hara, and walk she will pants. come on there. Look, she will come on that runway and tear them girls up in some pants. Yeah. And it always looks so good on her. I, I loved agree. it. She okay. looks so toot boot. gorgeous. I'm, a, I'm tooting. Toots. Okay. Definitely a toot. <laughs> so moving to um, Trinity K. Bonet. I like this look a whole lot. Not just because mm-hmm. of the little hags, you know, they, they, they can be a little repetitive. I do think this is a little close to her ent- her entrance look or her chromo look with the big poofy tool. Mm-hmm. But I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. I, w- I was glad to see- I wanted to see what she, she was going to give. And I liked it a lot, actually. I did. Yeah. I like this, too. It looks really good on her. The only thing I didn't like is the little face keeny thing. Like, I wish it was just it's a hat funny. and, like, a hair. Oh, like the thing around her thing, head. Yes, like this. Yeah, like whatever that is. Yeah, I didn't like that. I wish it was a hat and like a nice like bob styled something. I will say that it, it, it does. It's it's not as golf. It's very like dark. That's the thing. Like some of these women, some of these girls, these drag queens, these queens, they kind of took the route of let me put on some all black. That looks very dark. Yeah. And God... Goth is is so is so much more than just black yeah. and, and white makeup and stuff like that. It's so much more. I really wish they would have dug a little deeper. I wish she would have dug a little deeper. So I'm not mm-hmm. going to completely toot it. I love it, but as far as the runway, I can't really give it to her because I don't know what goth person would wear that on the run. Would would wear that? I mean, maybe no. maybe like a rich goth person, but I'm gonna give it a safe too because it was not ugly, but. Yeah, was, I don't think it was completely goth, in my opinion. Yeah, same. It good. definitely wasn't goth. I do like it. She looked gorgeous, but it definitely wasn't goth to me. Um, but I mean, she could still get a little too. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to Eureka. So Eureka's look, I liked her look actually. I liked the color of the hair. Um, the look was you know a little bit more on the sexy side with the sheer. But I thought that was a. Mm-hmm. I thought it was more of a goth woman that you know is like going to bed with her goth husband. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This was giving me more goth vibes. I feel like anytime they yeah. anybody can step away from the all black and add at least some other color in there, yeah. it gives yeah. it a more sense of goth. So yeah. I like this. I even liked her makeup with that little like blackish gray lipstick she had going on. It was really notice. cute. You know you do makeup, so you know this is your area. You be you know makeup. Yeah, so I, I know this. That. I don't know shit, but a little you know, a little fancy <laughs> fancy beauty. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I noticed, and you know she looks good. And like I said, every nobody this week was just awful. I so yeah, they were black. Too. They were black. How could you really go yeah. wrong with black? You were black, but a little makeup yeah. contacts or something like that. You ain't goth. Nobody right, failed. Allegedly. So that brings to the last yeah. person, which is Ginger Minj. Now, I like Ginger Minj's look. Um, yes. She bought the doll out. But I do think her makeup made her look too pretty to where it wasn't goth. I think her makeup threw the look off, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did dislike it. And, and once again, she has on boots. I thought we was tired of seeing boots from her. But she got <laughs> boots again. Yeah. I think my favorite part of the outfit was the hair. Like, I love yeah. that ashy, grayish blonde tones. So, mm-hmm. I like the hair and I like the little bow. Something about it gave very, like, Wednesday Adams, like, very childlike goth. And it was cute. Yeah. But the makeup definitely, I feel like, was a little too girly for this look. Mm. Mm. It was, I don't know. She, I feel like she could have went with like some darker tones. I feel like the lipstick and the blush were just a little too bright. Yeah. For it to get like full gauze. So I agree. 
it, it was the face. The face, she was too pretty, too gorgeous. Her makeup has definitely yeah. elevated this season, but she really yes. went on more of a pretty, 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 pretty goth makeup. And I didn't really like that, yeah. uh, personally, for goth. Mm -hmm. So, other than that, she was fine. She was in Black Child. Yeah, um, it was fine. <laughs> so, outside of the runway, for the performance wise and the runways, the Pandora and Trinity, Trinity were safe. Um, the mm -hmm. tops were Eureka, Ginger, and Jan, and the bottoms were Raja and Akira. Do you agree with that? I'm sorry, and the tops obviously so neat too, but do you agree with that, the rankings? No. No. What don't you this, agree with? The, one, I don't think Sonique should have won. Like, her performance was fine, but the runway combined with the performance did not give winner of the week. Mm -hmm. So that and right they, there, she shouldn't have won. But they had to no. choose somebody. I mean, a month that's with, true. Everybody gave they uh, the challenge was so hard to really judge. Like they said that yeah. she pulled out the star herself. I'm just like, no. And like, I was like, no. <laughs> no. I didn't feel usually when there's a winner, you feel like either that person should have won or somebody else should have won. Honestly, I don't think Sonique was a winner, and I don't know if anybody no. else was either. But. Let me shut my the ass only up. other person I would say was closer to being a winner of the week would be Jan, but they're not gonna give Jan another win. No, they're trying to get her out of there. They're not gonna do. It. Oh yeah, they try to get her out of there. Try, but Jan trying, was good this week. Yeah, this week she. It should have been her, honestly. Last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It mm -mm, no. And then I don't think Raja should have been in the bottom. Like they kept saying they didn't like how her interpretation of the character. <laughs> But I, I didn't think so either. find a problem with it. <laughs> they had to put somebody down there. I don't know what there. they. I don't. About. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't know. If anything, it should have been Trinity if they were going off their performance together because she was a little blander than Raja. I feel like it was storyline because obviously the bottom ended up being Raja and Akira, and that is right. the same way it was when it was season eleven. That's what sent yeah. Raja home. So it was like a another redemption moment. Overproduced. Ugh. Overproduced redemption moment where they sent end up sending Akira home when Raja stays. And so yeah. it means, you know, it is what it is. They call it a dick in the soup, whatever, overproduced and shit like that. <laughs> I mean yeah. I'm not saying it is, but it definitely was given. You can tell like, oh, like especially when Raja starts speaking, I'm like, you know what? You did she did send you home. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this episode was just very overproduced for me. Like, and the challenge felt forced. The win for Sonique No Shade felt forced. forced. It just, it just wasn't. And it doesn't, it doesn't it. make me take Sonique any serious, any more seriously. I'm sorry. No, I don't, not I don't at all. See it. She has a win, but uh, I could even be okay oh. with Jan getting her win, even though I know Trendy should have won. Okay, sure. Um, Sonique. I don't see it. She was not no. a star. But here, neither here, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the, the damn judge. Right, Lipstick I assassin. Recall, but, uh. I mean, of course, they gave they gave their pleads or whatever. Um, Raja stuck with, I have won a challenge, and, you know, whatever. And Akira obviously has been in the bottom so many times. So it's just like, right. Hey, and we don't want another. Um, I'm Roxy Anderson, and I can't make it clear. <laughs> exactly. So, we don't want that. <laughs> we get to the Lipstick Assassin, they all vote. Uh, the Lipstick Assassin is Manila. Do you think Manila is a, is a Lipstick Assassin? Mm. Miss. Uh, yeah, and her all right. Manila. You know what? But you know what? I will say yes, because the amount of times I've watched her MacArthur Park uh, lip sync, I would be lying if I said she was not a lipstick assassin. <laughs> that, I would agree. That lipstick alone, yeah. it does make her. I was gonna say That's that. That's I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear what she was gonna say. But make Arthur Park because of her. I have that yes. song on one of my playlists, and yes. I love it. Like she killed uh, that lipstick against uh, what's her name? Uh, Delta was it Delta work? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I know my hearts, honey. Yes. So I think that lipstick alone. <laughs> But you know what? Yeah. That may be her only claim to fame because since then... Yeah, true. Because I, I can't think not, of any other ones. I can't think of anything else. And when I think of this episode, when she going against Sonique, let's just say that the lip sync was set up for Sonique to win. 
It was Christian yeah. Aguilera dirty. She got a titties all out. I mean, come on now. I mean, come on. It was it was set up for her right. to win. They won. Like when I, I hear that seen, song, I think so neat. Like that's very her vibe. This whole season, I have said, I don't know who gonna win, who gonna do this. I don't know what's going on. This is the first time I've ever been able to say this shit is overproduced. They knew what they wanted yes. to do. They gave it to Sony. They wanted her to win. No way. Manila, I mean, I ain't saying she's terrible, but that wasn't a song for her. No, it wasn't. They no. wanted they and wanted her to take that ten thousand dollar tip home, but that song was made for Sony to win. That's why she came with her titties exactly. out. She was ready. She knew. She knew. She knew what was going on. Yeah, this was literally the first time the whole season, like you said, where I'm like, I could see what's going on. This I know my least happening. favorite episode yeah. of the whole season. Yeah. It, yeah. And even like I started getting bored, like she was doing the same, like the little backflip into the split the first time was sickening. I was like, okay. Yeah, it was I not live. sickening because we've seen it before, but okay. I like things. I can't do that. So I was like, hey. But once she started still. doing it again. <laughs> I can try. But what I can do it again. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Like once you no. start doing it again, I'm like, no. And it was just like it seemed like real stiff. It it just wasn't it. It's I was here for. I was just like, mm. so anyway, she sends home a curia, and I'm like, oh. oh. And I knew I'm what was so gonna happen sad, though, but I was because I know curia has not been doing well <laughs> according to the judges, but I love a curia. I know curia person, so I'm so sad. Hopefully. We can get a curie on this show. I have been texting a curie for like the last two months, even before the show aired, and so hopefully we get on this show because I would love to hear what she has to say or he has I to say. I would right live. Um, yeah. And so we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. That's just me wishful thinking. But curie yes. goes home, and do you feel like it was time for her to go home? Unfortunately, it was like once yeah. it was announced that she was in the bottom. I was like, "Yeah, curious going home this episode because you've been in the bottom three times now." Yeah. Oh, but not they all of those were home is if they was just like, "Let's sit home the threat because Raja is clearly a threat exactly. in this season. She's, She's the front runner in my mind. I, you know, I every at this point at there this has point. been six <laughs> different winners. Okay, one of the winners have gone home. Uh, yeah. Right. So yeah, at this point of the winners, you kind of, I kind of already see like who are, I mean, you just never know. I don't think Jan make it to the top. Okay. No. But Raja definitely, <laughs> I think Ginger definitely. And that's, yeah. I know those two, I feel like those two are definitely going to have a top four spot, top three, top four spot. Cause they're, mm-hmm. they, they, they're, they're, they're consistent. Raja was in the bottom this week, but I feel like this will be her last time in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I it, I don't even think she was supposed to be there in the first place. That's I agree. They had more to somebody, so the thing. You know, they'd be like yeah. somebody had to go home, or somebody had to be in the bottom with a curious because right. it was time for a curious. Somebody to had to go. <laughs> they had to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I hate to see a curious go, but yeah, unfortunately, it was her time just due to the track record. I don't think it was her time based on her runways. Mm-mm. Her but runways it was alone to her time. time. Right, uh, but it was her time. Home track record. Next, Pandora. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's a, it ruled off your <laughs> Yeah, because they've been holding on to her for a, a minute, and she's just slowly, slowly fading more and more into the background. And I like her, but it's just she's just been fading she, into you know, the background. You know the what? She's in, the, she's in the background, but she has not done necessarily terrible. So exactly. I'm going to say Jan. That's because I want her to go home next. I forgot who we said last uh, week. Who we say? Who who did we say? I don't know who we said last week. I need to keep track of this, but I don't remember who it was. Right, we um, do. I remember I said Jan at first, but then once it was an acting challenge, I'm like, oh yeah, no, Jan's not going home. Who yeah, she got say? lucky. But next week, home. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Because what was the challenge for next week? I can't remember what they said it was. So was it dancing? Soon, as soon as the damn episode went out, I turned it off and came to this damn laptop. So I have no clue. <laughs> I, was just like, Let me I think they said it was supposed to be a dance challenge. That's why I'm like, mm, I can see Pandora going home. That's unfortunate. But we'll see. Yeah. I mean, Pandora is of age, but she's making moves. We'll see. I'm going to say Jan because I'm ready for to go home. Like, I'm tired of Jan. I'm yeah. tired of her. There's no way she's gonna be able to get out of being Jan. This is this, this is no. who she is. So this is I hate home to see it. So she can be Jan even more. 
Right. And I'm really confused now because we're dwindling down to the girls. When are they going to tell us what this game and the game is? It's like, seven girls time's now, a right? Chicken. Seven, it is true. It's seven girls yeah. now. We ain't even had Snatch Game. So I feel like after this week, it's going to be Snatch Game. Right. Because then it'll be six. It has to be. Usually, It's usually an even number. So maybe, hopefully, it's Snatch Game. I'm ready for Snatch Game. I am. Right. I just realized it's been a minute. I feel like Snatch Game should have happened like last This week. is episode seven. We usually Ooh. would have. Remember, they started All-Stars with so, so many I thought it was things. like with eight. Usually, usually they start game. with ten. They, they, they start with 10 people, then they do Snatch Game either at 8 or 6 or whatever. But we started with 12 girls, 13 girls, 13 queens. So it's a little more. Right. Exciting, so that's why. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. we'll see. It's mm. coming soon. I'm excited for that. Hopefully, it's more entertaining than any of the other Snatch Games or whatever. If it's not, then we'll see. Right. At this point, uh, I don't know. I feel like anything could be better than this episode. This week, World of Wonder, get it together because this wasn't it. Yeah, I, I, was, I was a little bored. Mm-hmm. Very bored. <laughs> so, with that being said, oh. we're gonna lean out. We have pretty much talked about all the episodes, all the, all there is to talk about it, and we talked about it longer than I thought we would. So, <laughs> if, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you go down and you click the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, then still thumbs hit the thumbs it. up because it's 2021 and we don't like haters. You can find myself. <laughs> uh, and Maya on Instagram at Super Wild Tez and Maya Tosha or at the Lean Blog. We'll be here next week for episode seven. Uh, if you're watching yeah. Encore, Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Married to Medicine, check out all the other content. It's all there. Uh, with that being yeah. said, we're going to get out of here. Like, subscribe, comment, all things to Lean, and we will see y'all next week for episode seven. Have a good one. Bye.